everybody and welcome back to my channel. I got a new foundation and I thought I would try it on camera today. I got the new flower light illusion. It's luminous make us nude skin feel. It says it's all day wear has SPF 18, 6, 18 and with sunscreen and I got it in porcelain L1 and it says one fluid ounce. And on the back it says, Luminous Makeup, Nude Skin Feel, All Day Wear, Broad Spectrum, SPF 18, which I just said. And I've really been liking her products lately. I got a bunch of flower stuff. Maybe I'll do a flower video. But I thought I would try this today. I have to go to Ulta and Sally's and Target and stuff. So I have to put on makeup anyways. Let's see, and the only thing I see, her colors do run a lot dark, so if you're really, really paler than me, then I don't know if this brand will, like, it's really dark. I don't know, but I usually just dot foundation all over my face and then use my Sephora airbrush. And that actually did a good job of covering up my face. The color kind of faded. It was a little too dark. Um, but it did a good job. And it gives a nice... I like that it's like a natural dewy look. It doesn't feel like I have foundation on my face. I can't really feel it. But um, let me finish my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done putting on my makeup. I need to go to Ulta Target and probably Sally's Beauty today, so I'll check in in a little bit. It's around 10.30 in the morning right now. And if you're wondering this amazing highlight that I'm wearing, it's the one on the end from Flower Beauty. I picked this up at my Walmart the other day. This is the Shimmer and Strobe um, highlighter. I absolutely love this. It's a little powdery, but you can work with it. It's one of the best highlighters I've ever used high-end or low-end. So I'm loving that. And I just set everything with my all-nighter spray, just so you know. And I did set the foundation with my new Flower Beauty. This is the Satin finish powder. I'm really loving this over my CoverGirl lately, so um, just be aware of that. And I'll check in in a few hours to see how all of this is going. Bye. Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick update on my face and like the natural light, so I'm in front of my window. And as you can see, it, it kind of like clung to the dry parts around my mouth and on my cheeks it like was very clingy to all the dry patches and it made this weird like um it was weird around my nose which I never have with my higher end and it like it like came off of my dry areas on my face and it all around here, it all, it just clung really bad to my dry patches. So this is a no-go for me. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. I do not like it. I will not use this again. Hate it. I was hoping that it would be a good one, but it just like, it came off of my cheeks. It just really, it just vanished off of it which I don't have problems with my other foundations or anything and the when I put my blush in even though I like really blended it and everything it like got really like really cakey and dry on my cheeks so yeah if you have dry skin I would say this is a no-go for you and this is my review thanks and subscribe bye